Hello, fourth grade. Today we're going to be working with time again. We're going to do elapsed time, which if you look up here means the amount of time that passes from when you start an activity until when you end it. Okay, so today we're going to be using some pages from an older textbook. They were on an attachment, so if you've had a chance to print them, you can use those. If you don't, you can just follow along with me. You do need a piece of paper and you need a pencil. Even if we were doing those in class together, we would all have our notebooks out and you'd be writing down the steps. You really wouldn't have enough space just to do it right here. So if you don't have that, put me on pause, go get your paper and your pencil. Okay, when we find elapsed time, there's three different ways that we might be doing that. They might give us a start time and a finish time, and you find how much time is in between. They may give you the start time, tell you how long the activity lasted, and then you have to say when the activity finished. And in some cases, they'll even give us an end time, how long you were doing something, and you have to travel back and figure out the start time instead. Okay, so if we look up here, this way right here is a really simple way that you can solve it, but if you look at the red, that means that was done in two steps. For this problem, they said they had a dress rehearsal for a school play. The dress rehearsal started at 8.15 a.m. Remember, your a.m. times uh, start at midnight, and they go through the middle of the night until noon, and it ended at 10.25 a.m. still in the morning. Okay, so if we started at 8.15 and ended at 10.15, how much time passed in between there? What was the elapsed time? They first went hours, 8.15 to 9.15 to 10.15. We can't go to 11.15 because that would be past the stop time. So from 8.15 to 10.15, that's two hours. And then they figured the time from 10.15 to 10.25, which was 10 minutes. So the dress rehearsal lasted from two hours and 10 minutes was the length of time. Now, there's another way you could do it. This one involves a little more uh, writing if you were doing this on paper. You could do your minutes first. We could go 8.15 to a nice round even 9 o'clock. And from 8.15 to 9 o'clock, that's 45 minutes. Then you could go from 9 to 10, which is an hour. And then do your 10 to 10.25, which is an extra 25 minutes. You'd have to put all of that together so you'd have your one hour. Put your 45 minutes and your 25 minutes, which gives you 70 minutes, which is more than one hour. You learned yesterday, or were reminded yesterday, that 60 minutes is what an hour lasts. So then you have to convert that 70 minutes into an extra hour in 10 minutes. So then you'd have one hour, another hour, and then the 10 minutes. So that way is a little more complicated. We're going to try not to, to go that route. We'll try to pick the one that goes a little more smoothly and quickly. Okay. First, we're going to try some problems here in this group. We're going to have three groups of problems that we're going to try today. Okay, this first one, you're finding the lapse time. So you're finding how much time there was in between the start of an activity and the end of an activity. Okay, so let's look at number one. On your paper, work this with me. Okay, number one gives us a start time of 9 o'clock. Okay, we're going to end at 11.10. So let's first take it from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock. And during that time span, that is two hours. Then we're going to go from 11 o'clock to the finish time of 11.10, which gives us 10 minutes. If we put all that together, that was a total elapsed time of two hours and 10 minutes. Now I know you guys are pretty bright and you probably could have did that problem in your head mentally that there are going to be some that we're not going to be able to do mentally. So knowing this easy process will be real helpful when you get to the trickier ones. Okay, let's try number three. On this one they said our start time was 1.11 a.m. And we're going to finish at 3.26. So again, first go up the hours that you can. We can go 1.11 to 2.11 to 3.11. We can't go to 4.11 because that's past our start time. So we'll take it to 3.11. Then right up here that that was two hours in time. Then we're going to take from 3.11, go the rest of the way, to 3.26. So we need to know how many minutes passed from 3.11 to 3.26. We'll just do a little subtraction problem here. And that was 15 minutes. 
So our total elapsed time was 2 hours and 15 minutes. So that would be your official answer for that one. Okay, let's try one more out of this type of problem. Let's try number 4. Okay, number 4 gives us a start time of 2 minutes and 37, or sorry, 237, and we're going to end at 405. Now this one we're going to have to break into a few more steps. We can go from 237 to 337, can't go to 437, that's past the finish time. So we're just going to go 237 to 337, which is one hour. Now we need to figure out the rest of the way from 337 to 405. The best way to do this is to break it into two pieces. We like to get to a nice right on the hour time. So let's take it 337 to 4 o'clock. As we reviewed yesterday, we know there are 60 minutes in an hour, so let's see how many minutes pass from 337 to 4 o'clock. We can simply take 60 minutes minus those 37, and that would be 23 minutes. Then we still have just a little time on this to go because we're going to finish at 405. So then from 4 o'clock to 405 would be an additional 5 minutes. Okay, so then we're going to just put all this together. We have, for our elapsed time, we have this amount, 1 hour. Then we're going to put these two together. 23 plus 5, so it would be 1 hour and 28 minutes. Now I'm going to have you try three problems that are similar to this. I want you to try down here number 7 number 10 and number 12. So mark those, 7, 10, and 12. Pause me and then turn me back on when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, let's see how you did on those three. Okay, 7 was a pretty easy one. Again, I know some of you can do this mentally, but let's kind of try to practice this process. We can go from 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock, which would be 4 hours, and then 9 o'clock to 920, which would be our 20 minutes. Put those together for our answer of 4 hours and 20 minutes. The next problem was number 10. Number 10 start time was 425, and we are going to end at 641. So we're first going to go 425, we can go to 525, and then on to 625. So 425 to 625 is 2 hours. Then we're going to go 625 to 641. Let's see how many minutes passed from that time to the next. We can subtract. So then we would get 16 minutes. So our elapsed time would be 2 hours and 16 minutes. Okay, and then the last one in that group that you tried was number 12. On number 12, we have a start time of 11.44, and we're going to finish at 1.05. So we can first take that 11.44 to 12.44, which was one hour in time. Then, because this goes from 12.44 to 1.05, we're going to do the minutes in two steps. We first, if we're going to flip into a new hour, we want to take it to the nice, right on the dot, 1 o'clock time. So we're going to go from 12.44 to 1 o'clock. To figure out how many minutes that was, you take 60. Subtract 44 from that to see how many minutes were in between there. We can see that that is 16 minutes. And then we want to go from 1 o'clock the rest of the way to 105, which was an additional 5 minutes. Okay, if we put all that together, we had our 1 hour, then our 16 minutes plus our 5 minutes, which gave us 21 minutes. So that was the elapsed time for number 12. Now we're going to move into another group. Here we have um, times that they're giving us on the clock, and if you read the directions, it says each time our elapsed time will be 2 hours and 15 minutes. So our start times are shown on the clocks, and then the elapsed time is 2 hours and 15 minutes. I'm going to do 13 and 15 with you. Those are analog clocks, and of course 13 is pretty easy to read. It is at 4 o'clock. Again, do this in two steps. I'm first going to add my 2 hours to that, so plus 2 hours. That takes me to 6 o'clock. This is a really easy one. Then add your 15 minutes. 
and that takes you to 615. Now on number 15, look at the time on that one. On number 15, it looks like we have a time of 1115, if you read that. So our start time is going to be 1115. We're going to first go up again those two hours. 11.15 plus your two hours would be to 12.15 and then 1.15. And then we're going to go the 15 minutes. And 1.15 plus another 15 minutes, if you have that on, will take you to a finish time of 1.30. Now I want you to try the two digital clocks. Each time again, you're going to add two hours and 15 minutes. So take a moment, work those, hit me on pause, and then come back and we'll check over those together. Okay, let's look at number 14. Number 14, you have a start time of 6.30. Add the two hours. 6.30 plus two hours is 8.30. Then take and add 15 minutes to that. And 8.30 plus 15 minutes, again, pretty easy. 8.45. And one last problem like these. Number 16, we have a start time of 2.25. Go up extra two hours. So 2.25 plus two hours is 4.25. And then last, add your 15 minutes. And if we add 15 minutes onto that, that will give us 4.40 as a finish time. Okay, we're almost there. We have one more group of problems I'm going to have us look at. It's on the next page. Now here, sometimes they're going to give us the start time, tell us how long the activity lasted, and we're going to find the finish time like we did on the other page. But then other times, if you look on some of these, they're going to do the opposite. They're going to give us the finish time, so you have to travel back in time. This was your finish time. This is how long you watched the movie or did the activity. So what time did it start? Okay, so on your piece of paper, let's try a few of these together. Okay, let's look at 17. 17 is like what we were doing before. On number 17, we have a start time of 9 o'clock. Our elapsed time is 2 hours and 35 minutes, so again, break that into pieces. I know some of these are pretty easy, but others, it's really important that you break them into the different parts. 9 o'clock plus 2 hours takes us to 11 o'clock. And then add your 35 minutes to that. And that'll take us to 11.35. Okay, now let's try 19. 19 is going to go the opposite. We're actually going to be finding the start time. Okay, so our end time in this case is 3.40. So keep that in mind. This is when we finished. So we're going to be subtracting these amounts of time instead of adding them on. Okay, so first, Let's go back in time two hours. So if we started, or we ended at 3.40, but we want to go back two hours, back one hour would be 2.40, and the second hour would take us to 1.40. Then we want to go back another 20 minutes, so then subtract 20 minutes off of that. And that would give us a start time of 1.20. Okay, let's try one more of these start time ones. Let's try number 20. Okay, again, our finish time is 8.27. We, this activity lasted a long time. It was 6 hours and 13 minutes. So, again, since we're finding the start time, we want to go back. So we're going to take 8.27, subtract 6 hours from that, traveling back in time, to 2.27. And then our minutes was 13 minutes. So then we're going to subtract 13 minutes from that. Okay, you can go over there and use this space if you want to. And that means it was 2.14 when we started our activity. Okay, so we did 17, 19, and 20, so I want you to try 18, 21, and 22. So pause the video for a moment, go work 18, 21, and 22, and then when you're finished, start it back up and we'll go over the answers. Okay, let's look at number 18. 18 had a start time. Always keep in mind, are you starting or finished? We had a start time of 525. 
The activity lasted 3 hours and 23 minutes, so let's first add 3 hours, which is 825. And then let's add 23 minutes to that. And again, if you want to go down here and do that so you can make sure you get the right answer, that would be 8.48 as our finish time. Okay, your second problem that you worked and then we're going to check is number 21. So we had a start time of 3.16. Our activity lasted 2 hours and 51 minutes. This one's going to be a little trickier because we're going to go again past the hour on our way there. So we're going to first add our 2 hours to that. 316 plus 2 hours is 516, but we have a total of 51 minutes, so we're going to need to break those 51 minutes up. We want to see how many minutes it is from 516, let's go to a nice, right on top of the hour, 6 o'clock time. First of all, breaking this 51 up. So how many minutes did we use going from 516 to 6 o'clock? Just take 60 minus 16 to figure that out. Okay, and that would mean that we used 44 minutes. We have a few more minutes to go. How many exactly do we have? We can subtract to find that out. Seven more minutes, then we're going to take and we're going to add those last seven minutes on there. And that means you had a finish time of 6.07. And the last one, number 22. You are finding the start time, so we're going to be subtracting these amounts. So we end it at 11.21. We want to subtract 5 hours from that, so you simply subtract your 5. That would mean that we're at 6.21. But then the activity also lasted 9 minutes, so again, we're going to subtract 9 minutes from there. Which means we had an official start time of 6.12. Okay, if you need any extra help with this, go back and you can kind of watch these problems again. But really, especially when you get to some of these trickier ones, make sure you're writing out your steps. I know some of them will be ones that you can do mentally, but there will be some that you probably want to do on paper to keep it organized and to make sure you get the right answers. One last thing, I hope everyone has a great and happy Easter weekend. See ya.